So in Harrisonburg City, we have a very diverse population, students. We have a little over 6,000 students. We have many different languages spoken. I think at this point we're over 50. The student Services Department was created and social workers and psychologists fall under in, within that department. So what we did here in Harrisonburg City is we looked at the comprehensive services model for psychologists and social workers and said, looking at their expertise, what additional services could they be providing students and families in addition to referrals for the special education process and really looked at their professional organizations and their models and what they were trained to do and really then kind of built it from there. These are the services that they could offer our families and our students. And from there, we created new job descriptions, talked with them. We had a nice comprehensive retreat where we really broke it down as like, this is what it's going to look like because it was a change. I mean, you're in, but one thing we talked about is the needs of our families are changing. It's not the same as it was 20 years ago. And so we really needed to respond to those needs. And so this job description evolved and it continues to evolve and become more comprehensive in nature to help serve the families. I would say that, you know, with any position, we like to be able to connect that to student success and academic success, right? So, but we all know research tells us that if the student's not ready, social emotional, if their social emotional well-being is not there and ready to learn, um, they're not going to be successful academically. And so a big piece for us is those relational and those um, qualitative reports that we get in relationships that we build with students, but it's also following them um, through and watching the success they, that they provide. So when discussing the four prongs, the first one being building an action team has been very important for us as we really value our community partnerships. And so one important one is the trauma-informed community network. And that consists of about seven or eight different agencies that created a team about a year and a half, two years ago to focus on the trauma and the training and the different resources in the Valley and so we met initially just to kind of look at what's available, what's out there. And over the course of time, we've provided a couple of community event dialogue. And we'll continue that throughout the year to really start looking at what we can be doing as a community, more the action piece and not just you know, the discussion piece. So one example of a comprehensive service provided by a social worker is in Harrisonburg City, every time we have a family identified as homeless, we pair a social worker with that family to help them through a process of housing, filling out paperwork, really connecting them to community resources. And so in doing so last year, we had two different social workers involved with the same family and really helping them connect to services in the community to find housing. And one of the social workers, the, her church, actually donated furniture for the apartment and really helped them, follow them through last year. This school year, as they started and they're on their feet, the family actually contacted the school and said, how can we give back? We had great support and we want to help a family in need. So I thought that was a really great story and just showing how the support can really benefit our families.